Building apps on IPFS. Uh, what does that even mean? Which is a common theme that we've had. Uh, it certainly means more portable data identity encryption and compute and basically um, uh, building in such a way that it's not just a file bucket. Um, so, so going beyond uh, IPFS as backend infrastructure. Uh, we uh, did a lot of these things as discussion tracks. So we had an intro from uh, Brooke, Ian, and Mosin on respective identity capabilities and private data. Uh, lots of both compatible places, uh, room for more interop, and uh, learning from each other. Um, we had a real live native mobile app developer, Chris from Subconscious, uh, where he was talking about what he had built so far, what he had adopted, and where he was heading um, with native mobile and, and, and generally buying into uh, portable data uh, was something that was very attractive. Uh, I uh, brought in Russell very quickly to, to lead a session on here's the IPFS desktop GUI, which is kind of an app and kind of a meta app and could maybe talk to a bunch of these other things and provide capabilities for things on, uh, on desktop and, and browser. Um, Brendan uh, came up, uh, yelled into a mic, and we had an awesome, awesome group session on that uh, where uh, there was a lot of Spider-Man pointing uh, uh, as an example of uh, Chris pointing and saying, oh my God, I need to build all of those things. And we'll, uh, we'll come on that base capabilities on the next slide. Uh, we wrapped up with a compute and IPFS. So I think the message there is, is uh, app developers as a layer would like to consume some compute um, and it would be useful to come and talk to app developers of how they might uh, consume that. As an example, uh, Subconscious was planning to do something interesting with small um, uh, user plugins based around uh, Wasm going over data. So there's some sort of uh, convergence around, yes, web, op web, web developers would like to have small chunks of compute that they could use in different ways. Um, learnings. All apps need a base set of capabilities. Uh, this was mostly non-controversial in the sense that, um, yep, this looks like roughly the list of things that we need. Uh, probably in there, access control is, is should be like slash encryption in, in different ways. Uh, versioning, I think, was the one that we said maybe has a question mark, but as soon as people thought about distributed systems and multiple things writing to the same place, versioning actually solves some problems for you. Um, everyone is reinventing the wheel and having to figure out their own architecture and scale. So that was actually a layering sort of thing. Um, uh, basically, lots of people end up having to stand up their own IPFS infrastructure because they can't yet use some of the other providers. Um, Brooks quote, uh, I think reliable transport um, and uh, uh, the, the quote there is a distributed way of moving around syncing Merkleized graphs. Unix FS is the killer app. Um, protocol developers, please come talk to app developers rather than holding a mythical app developer in your head. Uh, lots of tight ties to Dietrich's work on browsers and platforms. Um, we have to set, uh, deliver a, a set of base capabilities at the protocol level. Think about for the particular component you're building, who is the customer, and, and really putting up a hand of apps and app devs as customers there. Uh, you can interrupt, we've kind of covered already, but that's a commitment to saying that we're actively going to work between infrastructure pieces as well and more people are interested. And Brandon already took care of his action item and look in the, in the uh, Slack for the launch of the native mobile working group. We have a couple of milestones. Um, so Fission is going to ship some um, uh, blockchain login uh, stuff that will make its way into UCAN as well. Um, uh, Brendan has committed to an IPFS native mobile working group, uh, a sync with app customers uh, and, and implementers at PLN Lab Week, it, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, and Steve has said that he'll put up his hand and, and talk about uh, browser connectivity and more transports. Thank you.